Время уходит. Обвиняемого в Фаридуне Шамсидину в мероприятии в виде заключения по страже в срок содержания его под стражей на один месяц 28 суток до 22 мая 2024 года. Настоящее постановление... До наработки кому не нарушаем. Вопросы не задаем. По первой команде покидаем зал судебного заседания. Предусмотрен пунктом Б части 30 статьи 205 Уголовного кодекса Российской Федерации. Руководство статьей 108 Уголовного процессуального кодекса Российской Федерации постановил избрать обвиняемому Файзову Мухаммад Сабиру Закирчоновичу меру пресечения в виде заключения под стражу, установить срок его содержания под стражей на один месяц 28 суток, то есть до 22 мая 2024 года. До наработки комбой не нарушаем. Вопросы не задаем. По первой команде покидаем зал судебного заседания. Хорошо. Хорошо, давай. Да, я приеду. Да. Давай. Suspects of the terrorist incident that took place in the concert hall of the Crocus City Hall shopping center in the Moskva region of Russia on March 22 were detained in the Bryansk region, near the border with Ukraine and Belarus. Footage of the detention and preliminary interrogation was circulated on Telegram channels. According to the information of the Russian Investigative Committee, a total of 11 people have been detained in connection with the terrorist incident, four of whom are direct participants in the attack. According to information, work was also done to identify the persons who may be related to them. IT should be noted that at least 115 people were killed and hundreds were injured during the attack on the Crocus City Hall shopping center. Прочищают с этой стороны и будут идти на встречу. The Islamic State claimed responsibility for terrorist attack in Russia. The Islamic State terrorist group claimed responsibility for the terrorist attack at Crocus City Hall. American officials confirmed to the New York Times the authenticity of the group's statement. In March, the United States received intelligence that an ISIS affiliate in Afghanistan, known as ISIS-K, was planning an attack on Moscow, sources told the New York Times. One American official said that ISIS members are actively operating in Russia. A U.S. official told CBS News that the U.S. has intelligence to support ISIS's claim of responsibility for the attack and Washington has no reason to doubt those claims. The New York Times also writes that in addition to the public warning on March the 7th, American officials privately informed their Russian counterparts about intelligence indicating an attack was being prepared. Investigator Christo Grazev reported that the U.S. Embassy warned Russian intelligence services about receiving certain evidence of the preparation of an ISIS-K terrorist attack. According to him, the Russian side responded that the information provided by the Americans was not specific enough. After this, as Grozev notes, there were still arrests in Russia of certain members of ISIS cells. That is, the FSB decided after all that they knew who to arrest and they started making these arrests. Grozev said, the Kremlin media reported that the suspects could be Tajik citizens, but the country's foreign ministry called this fake news. Events were cancelled in some Russian cities. Defense intelligence of Ukraine stated that the terrorist attack was a deliberate provocation by Putin's regime that had been anticipated by the international community. Mykhailo Podolyak, advisor to the head of the Ukrainian president's office, stated that Ukraine had nothing to do with the attack.